What's up guys, Parker here with another Power BI 3 minute tip. In today's video, I have a really fun trick to show you how you can embed a web page inside of a Power BI report. This is a really fun trick that I hope you will get a lot of use out of. So what I've done is I've created this little report that will allow you to show uh, basically web pages inside of your report. I've gone ahead and compiled three of my favorite Power BI blogs, including Accelerator BI, Power Pivot Pro, and SQL BI. Go ahead and check out those three uh, blogs if you want to learn more about Power BI or DAX in general. So what I've done is I've taken three of their blog links and I've thrown it into this report. So basically what you're seeing here is now a blog post by Accelerator BI. It's actually one of the blog posts that I was able to write for Matt over at Accelerator BI. But what's cool is that when you click on another slicer selection, it will magically change the uh, web page that's being shown. So now we're looking at the Power Pivot Pro web page. Or if we click on the SQL BI slicer, we show a SQL BI um, article. So that's really cool. Also, it's not exclusive to slicer selections. You can also click on any other visual. So I have this column chart here showing a, an arbitrary number of page views by blog. I totally made it up. If you click on the SQL BI column, it's going to show you that SQL BI web page or the Power Pivot Pro column. You see the Power Pivot Pro web page. So it's really cool, and it enables you to embed these web pages in your Power BI report, which I think might be useful for some. And also one more little trick here, you can actually enable this focus mode and it will bring up the entire um, uh, the entire web page and it'll actually look like you're actually reading the blog in its native location, whereas we're actually looking at it through a Power BI report. So it's kind of cool and you have full functionality. You can click on links within the, within the uh, frame here and it will actually take you through just like you're on the website. So it's really cool stuff. And I'll go ahead and show you how you can build this really quickly in Power BI Desktop. So let's go ahead and go back to the report and let's jump over to Power BI Desktop. So I have the same report here and I wanna show you my data. So I really only have three blog posts here, uh, a made up number of page views and the URL where I found them. And the only thing that's actually doing work here is this iframe column, which is a calculated column. And I'll show you exactly how I created that. It's using this syntax here. So what it's using, or what it's doing here, is it's writing HTML code and taking in that URL that I have in the data and giving it a little bit of styling options, which we'll go over later, and closing out the iframe tag. So I'm not sure how familiar, how familiar you are with HTML code, but it's actually pretty simple to write. And once you learn a little bit of HTML, it will make a lot of sense. So I will go ahead and get rid of this column and we can write it again just ourselves. So we are using the HTML viewer here, which is an HTML, uh, which is a Power BI custom uh, visual. So we'll go ahead and delete that just for uh, the sake of bringing it in. And we'll delete this custom visual to start from scratch. So in order to bring in that custom visual, you can click on the ellipses and import from marketplace. Once the marketplace is loaded, go ahead and type in HTML and add this HTML viewer. And we'll bring that into the pane here and make that big. So this HTML viewer needs HTML code in order for it to render correctly. Uh, if you're not familiar, HTML is the code that basically makes up web pages. So anything you write in HTML can render in this HTML viewer. But HTML also allows you to use iframes. And iframes are basically ways to just embed web pages within other web pages. So it's perfect for our use. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new calculated column. And we want to create some HTML out of our calculated column. So let's just go ahead and call this HTML. And we're gonna set this equal to a string. And it's gonna be iframe src, which stands for source. And here we are giving in the URL for our website. So we're gonna close off the uh, quotation marks and say and URL, which is my column right here. And we're gonna concatenate another um, another quotation mark plus space. Actually, we'll go ahead and end it there. We're gonna go ahead and close it off at that iframe and then close off the iframe by typing in slash iframe. So HTML is written, oh shoot, I should go ahead and close that off close off the quotation marks. So HTML is written like this. So you have the opening iframe tag and it has to have a closing iframe tag. So we'll go ahead and click enter. And we now have our custom, uh, our calculated column with our iframe with our specific URL here. 
and it also closes off that iframe. So all we have to do is bring in our new HTML column into this visual. And you see that it shows three different uh, little boxes here. And they're not fit correctly, but we can go ahead and click save. And I'm gonna go ahead and publish this up to the cloud because your HTML will not render correctly in Power BI Desktop. And that's because uh, Power BI Desktop isn't able to actually go to other web pages while it's in desktop mode. It's only able to do that over service. So the HTML viewer will be able to view HTML in desktop, but if it's a connection to another web page, it's not going to be able to render correctly. So let's go ahead and post up to service and see what this looks like. So I'll go ahead and click replace and let's go to service when it's done. Give it just a second to publish. And it's all done. So we'll go to embedded websites and refresh and we'll see what this looks like now. So you can see that these little web pages aren't sized very correctly, but they're all showing up. So all three of our web pages show, and when we click on one, it'll just show us one of those web pages. Or if we show our control click showing two, it now shows two web pages. But we don't want uh, this little small iframe to show. We want to take up the entire HTML container. So we do that by adding a little bit to that calculated column. So let's go ahead and go back to our calculate column and add uh, some syntax uh, after this URL. So what we want to do is we want to type in uh, before that closing caret, we want to say uh, space style equals, and we want to use a single quotation position colon fixed uh, semicolon width colon 100% semicolon height colon 100% and that and we need to close off the uh, single quote so that's actually all we have to do and to run you through what we're actually doing there is this style equals is basically a parameter inside of this iframe element and the style equals allows you to write CSS and CSS is basically code that you can use to style your HTML. So we are styling our position as fixed, which then allows us to set the width and height percentages, which we set to 100%. So it's gonna take up the entire uh, area of the HTML viewer. So if we go ahead and click enter, we can now see that that little gray box there is now taking up the entire space of the container. So we can go ahead and click save and we're gonna publish it up one more time just to make sure it's working and replace. And once that is published, we can go view our work. So it's successful and we'll go ahead and click refresh on service. And we should now see that our web pages are taking up, uh, taking up the entire space. So that's really cool. And again, we can look at focus mode and basically view it like we're looking at a uh, and the actual website. So that's a lot of fun. So I hope you get a lot out of this trick. You might find it useful in case you are uh, embedding some, maybe some web pages that are showing prices of items and you want to uh, link to uh, basically where they're selling them, or maybe you're dealing with some SEO data and you want to view how those web pages are looking and why maybe they're ranking higher in SEO than others. So there's a lot of flexibility here. I do want to make one note that not all web pages can be contained in an iframe. And that's because some web pages have some security policies set up around them to not allow other domains to be able to reference those. A couple of examples are Google and Amazon that I found. So if you're trying to embed those websites, you're probably not going to have too much luck. But for other websites, you might have um, a lot more luck and you'll be able to do that with other websites. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next Power BI 3-Minute Tip.